Hi everyone! Welcome to my Black Sparkling Box unboxing and product try-on. So today is the first time I'm going to try all of these items. I'm going to try it in front of and with you guys. This box costs 1,460 pesos for a value of 5,290 pesos. So that's about 72% off. The gold sparkling box has already sold out but the red and the black boxes are still there. And I feel kind of bad for the black box for being left out. I think maybe one of the reasons people aren't buying into it is because there's only four items. People don't always go for quantity, you know. I've heard great things about this box. I mean, this cushion may be even more worth it than the gold sparkling box's six items. So first is what for me personally is a big hit item, April Skin Magic Snow Cushion 2.0 in shade number 23. When I was still in Korea about late 2015 up to early 2017, April Skin had a lot of hype about it, like a lot of the girls liked it because it has, they say it has great coverage and still has a skin like finish. And as you all know, BB creams tend to be on the lighter side in terms of coverage. So opening the cushion, it's a black cushion and I think that's why it was included in this box. You have a black rubicel puff as well, which I think is cute, but I might, it might look so bad in the long run for the stains. So I think maybe I'm going to use a brush with this cushion today. And I've already swatched it for the photos I took, but this is what the cushion looks like. And you can tell by touching it that the mochi cushion is really like something unique. They put the foundation within the mochi cushion. I don't know if that makes a huge difference in terms of the cushion drying up, but it's scented, but I like the perfume. I like the scent. It's a little bit floral, but not mature. I can already tell it has high coverage. So far I'm liking the finish, but I think I put too little of the product on it, so let me just finish the rest of my face. So this is what coverage looks like after about two layers. The coverage of April Skin Cushions is actually comparable to long wear liquid foundation coverage. So if you need like to cover extreme like imperfections but you still want to have that sort of skin like chop chop feeling, I think this is going to be a really fantastic buy for you. I, I made a really good choice buying the Black Sparkling Box based on this cushion alone. And now I'm gonna set my face with a veil that I'm gonna get. Woo! Ah! No! Part of my face is going to be the Sun and Park um, All That Smoky Kit. It contains matte and shimmer shades and it's full of nudes, browns, and grays that you can use for a smoky eye look. Another thing I really look forward to in using the Sun and Park uh, eyeshadow palette is that, of course, we all know about the super famous Sun and Park Beauty Water. And Sun and Park are actually two famous makeup artists in Korea. So definitely just seeing what they think of how um, of how smoky eyes should be done is something that I want to try. I'm using the transition shade. Just gonna set my transition. So def the color is something really skin-like. It's not very shadowy. 
but I guess it sets a great base for ear blending. Okay, next I'm just going to use the deeper brown shade on my outer V. Yeah, I'm not enjoying this shade. It's a little chalky and difficult to blend. Now I'm thinking if I use this slate color or the gold color to wash over my eyes. Since it's nighttime, I think maybe I'm going for the slate color. So this is my smoky eye look using the Sun and Park All That Smoky Kit. Normally I would um, prime my eyes with a black cream crayon, but since I want to see how this works on its own, I just went ahead and used my eyeshadows on Prime. Now, I think the colors and the inclusions were great. As always, I'm blown away by the shimmers and the glitters that they've included. I always think Koreans have great um, variety and selections for their glitters and shimmers. It's only the matches that were a little problematic. I'm not sure if I'm having an off day or not, but they felt buttery to me, but they were so difficult to blend, especially the black and the, the dark brown shades. Next for my black sparkling box look is this Rire Gel Eyeliner in 01 Kill Black. It costs 210 pesos. At first, I was a little unexcited about this eyeliner. I didn't feel like I didn't know much about Rire but after searching online I found a lot of Project Vanity reviews on it actually and the girls were saying they love that it doesn't smudge and it lasts all day so now I'm sort of excited to use this it's a pencil eyeliner and you just twist it up you don't need to sharpen it but I guess if you wanted to you could I'm just gonna use it to line my eyes I made a mistake of using a different tight liner today because I forgot that I'm going to be reviewing a gel eyeliner so it's been smudging all throughout the video I don't know if you've noticed it's not that easy to apply it's not that creamy but still if it lasts as long as they say it does I think it's going to be better than a lot of the other options that I have in my stash as of the moment and now lastly, we come to trying Nisha de Style 40 Mascara. It's available in the shop for 408 pesos in a 1 plus 1 promo. Um, I've already tried this in one of my previous subscription boxes ages ago and I didn't really like it. I thought the formula was so watery that it was causing my eyelashes to clump together in about 3 or 5 huge clumps. I'm finding that I have to eat my words right now because the mascara is actually defining and separating my lashes beautifully so <laughs> I'm glad I still tried it. I was supposed to give this away but since I wanted to do a try along video for the black sparkling box, I decided to keep it for myself because you can't give away mascara. I'm so glad I made this choice of being selfish because this is amazing. There. So I'm just going to put blush and lipstick and then be back with the rest of my comments. I'm back. So this is my Althea Black Sparkling Box look. I really like it. Um, I didn't realize till the end how the box focused on the eyes but I think it was a good call to sort of have just a feature that you want to play up. I think all of the items in this box are such a huge hit. I was at first wary of the Nisha um, mascara, but it turned out really amazing. And actually, it was even the Sun and Park eyeshadow palette that was a little bit disappointing. Again, I don't know if I'm having an off day, but the mattes felt a little bit crumbly. 
But still, overall, I like the look that I was able to come up with. The color and texture inclusions in this palette are amazing. I also really, really love my big hit item, the April Skin Magic Snow Cushion. I think the coverage is amazing. I didn't have to cover my eye bags with corrector or concealer today. While my eye bags are not completely covered, this is one of the best coverage I've seen amongst a lot of liquid and different types of foundation actually. And then lastly, the Riria Gel Eyeliner remains to be seen. Application was not a breeze, but if it lasts as long as people say it does and doesn't smudge, I think I'm going to be looking forward to using it more often. So again, this is my Althea Black Sparkling Box look. I hope you guys enjoyed my product trial and unboxing. I still have the red box to go. I also bought the red box, so do stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. See y'all later. Bye!